In this tutorial we're going to have a look at modeling using exponentials and logarithms. In particular we're going to have a look at rearranging equations in the form y equals mx plus c to be able to plot a straight line. So this question says there are many different flu viruses. The number of flu viruses detected in the first few weeks of the 2012 to 13 flu epidemic in the UK were as follows. Then there's data with a week number and the number of flu viruses. It says these data may be modelled by an equation of the form y equals a times 10 to the power of bt, where y is the number of flu viruses detected in week t of the epidemic, and a and b are constants to be determined. Explain why this model leads to a straight line graph of log to the base 10 of y against t. State the gradient and intercept of this graph in terms of a and b. Right, so we start with this equation here. y equals a times 10 to the bt. And we've been told that the aim in this part one is to rearrange this so we get a straight line. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to look for the base of logarithm that they prefer. So in this case, they ask for log to the base 10. So I'm going to log to the base 10, both sides. Log to the base 10 of y equals log to the base 10 of a times 10 to the power of b t. Then notice I can separate this out using the addition rule. So log to the base 10 of y equals log to the base 10 of a plus log to the base 10 of 10 to the power of bt. So writing this out again, I can simplify this. I can bring the powers bt to the front using the power rule for logarithms. So log to the base 10 of y equals log to the base 10 of a plus bt log to the base 10 of 10. Now this one's a nice easy one to simplify because what power do I have to raise 10 to to get 10? Well 10 to the power of 1. So that is just the number 1. So concluding log to the base 10 of y equals log to the base 10 of a plus bt. Now if I rearrange, not rearrange this, if I write this in a different order rather than rearrange, log to the base 10 of y equals bt plus log to the base 10 of a. Now let's try and track this all the way through. We can see here is the variable and here is the variable. y and t are the variables. We've now written y in a different form. It's log to the base 10 of y, so this is now the variable. Variable still there. Variable, variable. This here is the variable. And t is now here. This here is the variable. There's the variable. And there, and there. So this is actually now in the form y equals mx plus c, because we've got a variable, y, equals constant, let's call it m, a variable x plus c. So here, y is represented by log to the base 10 of y, x is represented by t, and the constants, the gradient is b, and the constant c, the y-intercept of this straight line, will be log to the base 10 of a. So state the gradient in, and intercept of this graph in terms of a and b. Well, the gradient we can see is b, the constant in front of the variable, and the y-intercept is the constant on its own at the end, which is log to the base 10 of a. So that's part one done. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit to get part two. And what this has asked us to do is complete the values of log to the base 10 of y in the table draw the graph of log to the base 10 of y against t and draw by i a line the best fit for the data. So the, tab the table it's talking about is this table here which you can get from our website alevelmathsrevision.com I've put, put that in the categorised questions section and it's the modelling with exponentials so you can download that and do this question yourself. So I want to plot y against x or actually because we've transformed the variables I want to plot log to the base 10 of y against t. 
So the first thing, to complete this table, I need to find the values of log to the base 10 of y. So log to the base 10 of 38, log to the base 10 of 38 equals 1.58. log to the base 10 of 63 is 1.80 log to the base 10 of 96 is 1.98 log to the base 10 of 234 is 2.37 and log to the base 10 of 480 is 2.68. So filling this graph in, so I've got a large graph here to fill in. I'm going to plot our variables. So our y variable against rx. So our log to the base 10 of y against t. The middle row, in this case, is irrelevant. So now that we've got the values of log to the base 10 of y, we can then continue with the question and start drawing the graph. So it's asked us to plot log to the base 10 of y against t. So the first value to plot, when t equals 1, log to the base 10 of y is 0 0.85. So when t is 1, log to the base 10 of y is 0 0.85. So that's 0 0.9, so 0 0.85 is there. When t is 2, log the base 10 of y is 1. So 2, 1. When t is 3, it's 1.38. So 1 1.3567, it's so roughly there. t is 4, 1.51. 1 1.51, roughly there. When t is 6, 1.58. So when t is 5, 1.6, there it is there. When t is 6, 1.58. So it's gone back down again, so 1.58 roughly there. When t is 7, 1.8. So when t is 7, lock the base 10 of y is 1.8, which is there. When t is 8, we've got 1.98, roughly there. t is 9, 2.37, which is about here. Then when t is 10, 2.68, 2.68, roughly here. So there we have it, all the points plotted. So now we're going to draw a line of best fit by I. Roughly trying to keep the same number of points on each side of the line. So roughly speaking, that'll do. So yeah, that'll do. So roughly through the middle of those points. There it is there. And now we need to find the values of A and B. Well, we can see here that the gradient was B. So the gradient of this straight line is B from the previous part. So we'll work out the gradient of this line by drawing a triangle and working out the gradient from it. So the Y difference, it starts at 0.7 and goes all the way up to about 2.6, 2.5, so about 2.55, roughly speaking. So the y difference is 2.55, take 0 0.7, which is about 1.85. So the change in y is about 1.85. The change in x is the entire width of the axis, you can see here it goes all the way from 0 to 10.4 so the change in x is 10.4 
which means that the gradient m equals 1.85 over 10.4 so 1.85 divided by 10.4 equals 0.17788 equals 0.17788 so that my final answer is accurate to the right number of significant figures. I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to keep it at five significant figures for now. Uh, the final answer needs to be correct to three. So doing more than three significant figures for now is necessary to ensure that. Okay, the y-intercept is 0 0.6, 0 0.7. And looking back to our rearranging the equation at y equals mx plus c format. We can see that the gradient M maps to B. So B is 0.17788. And the Y intercept maps to log to the base 10 of A. So C is 0 0.7, our Y intercept, which is log to the base 10 of A. That means doing 10 to the power of each side, I get 10 to the 0 0.7 equals 10 to the power of log to the base 10 of a and 10 to the power of 0 0.7 equals 5.01 and 10 to the power of log to the base 10 of something just cancels that log to the base 10 out so this says what power do we need to give 10 to get a we then give 10 that power to get A, so A is 5.01. So now answering the final part of this question, finding the equation for Y in terms of T for the model, well, we can see that the original equation here was Y equals A times 10 to the power of BT. So that's Y equals A, which we now know to be 5.01. times 10 to the power of bt so b is 0 0.178 to three significant figures t for more resources like this go to a or subscribe to our youtube channel